Hi everyone. Well, you can probably tell from the smile on my face and my fascinator. You know what day it is, right? It's time for a wine diary. You know, I haven't done a wine diary in so long. Oh, you know, true story. My house, you may not know this, but my house is kind of overrun with wines. And um, I've been so far behind. I mean, just not in my YouTube world, in my wine drinking world. I am far behind. Yeah, I'm an amateur. So, anyway, when the kids were coming last month for Christmas, I had to hide my wine because I didn't want them to think I had a problem. Well, I suppose it would be more of a problem if all those bottles were empty, right? But anyway, so I had to hide them. So, I hid them under my nutcracker table. I know, and then I got a tree skirt, a table skirt, and put it all the way around so that they couldn't see all my bottles of wine. Phew, that was a close one. But, anyway, so... It was getting ready in December. I wanted to skip um, my week wine again because I'm just so far behind and I really don't need any wine. Because, you know, then I had skipped in no November too. In December I had all the Advent little, you know, the cute little bottles of wine. So I was having a glass of bottle of wine every night while some of them I didn't finish yet. And then after that I had the countdown to New Year's. So I had the cute little bottles of champagne. And I still had two boxes of Wink from the summer that I hadn't got to yet. So that was another eight bottles of wine. Plus, I think I got my vinyl and maybe I had two vinyls since then. Yeah, so they were really kind of building up on me. Whew. So anyway, last month, well, November, they had, um, Wink had got a new, new owner. And, of course, they updated the website. Who knows why people have to keep updating websites. Pisses me off. Yeah, sorry about that. But anyway, so I couldn't figure out how to skip. I could, I could figure out how to cancel, but I didn't want to cancel. I just wanted to skip some more months. So I finally gave up, contacted customer service, and, you know, they told me how to do it. And I'm like, yeah, I'm on it. I'm on that page, and my choice is I cancel. He says, no, you should have a choice to skip or cancel. And I'm like, no, I'll send you the screenshot if you want, but I've only got a choice to cancel, and I just really want to skip. So anyway, they were really nice about it. So probably, you know, maybe they're having problems with people's websites or whatever, so yeah, I'll take care of it for you, so they skipped for me. So I thought, okay, that's cool. So December comes along, and I know it's going to be coming up for four more bottles of wine, and I'm like, you know, I'm just not ready for more wine yet. I don't need any more wine. I've got wine up to here. So I go on the website again to try to cancel, I mean, try to skip, and of course it wouldn't let me skip again. It just gave me the choice to cancel or continue. So I contacted customer service again. I didn't get someone nice this time. And so, yeah, they basically called me an idiot that I couldn't see the screen. And I'm like, I'll send you the screenshot. My choice is to cancel. And uh, so anyway, then he said, well, you probably have to update your server. Or you have to update this. Or you have to do this. Or go to your, you know, if you just rambling all, all these things that were like way off my head. And uh, so I said, you know what, I'll give it a day or two. I'll try it again. And if it's not there... I'll try customer service again, and maybe I will get that nice person again that helped me. So, two days went by, and went back on. No, couldn't cancel. I mean, couldn't skip. So, called customer service again. And, um, so anyway, I did get a nice person. And they said, oh, you know, it might be just, you know, some kind of glitch in the system. It's a new website, blah, blah, blah. They've got new service. But, you know, I'll go ahead and, and skip for you. And I'm like, okay, thanks. I'd appreciate it. So, I went to skip and said, oh. Your shipment's already shipped. It shipped two days ago. And I'm like, but I contacted customer service and told them I was trying to skip, and they, you know, wouldn't skip for me. I said, well, I'm sorry about that, but you aren't shipped. So now I've got four bottles of wine. And I was kind of, kind of irked, you know, that they knew I wanted to skip, and they shipped anyway, and they weren't willing to help me. So I don't need more wine, so you know what I did? I went on another subscription site, and I ordered six bottles of wine. Why do I do that? I don't know. I don't need more wine. Sometimes, you know, you get mad and you do stupid things, like buying more wine when you've got too much wine and you've got more wine coming. So anyway, I've got a new wine subscription, and I've got six bottles of wine. So, let's talk about that for a while, shall we? Let's go.
about the giveaway that we've got going on for the ugliest sweater that I wore during Vlogmas. I will have the video up there that's going to tell you all about how to enter uh, that giveaway and what the rules and regulations are. And again, we are closing this. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm still not feeling up to par. Um, it will be closing next Saturday, which is the 20th. Uh, probably around noon time, I'll close it off, and then on Sunday the 21st, whether I do a quick video or a vlog or something like that, but on the 21st on Sunday, we will pick a winner. I haven't decided yet if we're going to do that little uh, spin thing or if it will just be just kind of picking names at random, but again, all the regulations and rules are going to be in that video. If you wanted to win, I hope you enter for me. And, of course, my winning sweater is going to get this snazzy little trophy card that I made for, now that's ugly. So that will be for my 2023 ugly sweater of Vlogmas. The winner is, and I haven't figured out what else I'm going to put in the box, but I've got these Fab Four Face, which is snackables from Crackerology, and I just I just ordered some. They are having a sale um, I will look for that code. They are having a code that you can get some free shipping. So I did that. Today I ordered three packages today. They've got some new ones that are coming out. But anyway, these are the flavors that are going to be in your Fab Four faves. And then I will just put probably some skincare items or makeup items, something like that, in the box just to keep it company. So again, that closes next Saturday on the 20th. And on the 21st, we will pick our winner. Hi, everyone. I'm Nancy. Welcome back to my channel. To my viewers, my subscribers, thank you guys so much. It means the world to me that you're able to take a few minutes or an hour out of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can never let you know. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you are new to my channel, I hope you will take a quick second. Hit that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Today, we are talking about my new line subscription that I needed like I need another hole in my head. I think my mother used to say that um, sometimes when you get angry at something, you would cut your own nose off to spite your face. So I think that's probably what I did. But anyway, so I had this little run-in with Wink Wine, which I been really, really loving that subscription. But, you know, they kind of irked me when I couldn't get help from customer service. So, you know, even though I was trying to skip because I didn't want more wine, I have too much wine, I ordered more wine from another subscription company. I know. Who knows why? But anyway, that's what I did. So, uh, a couple of months ago, I guess, when we got our last Vino subscription in, and because I love Vino, Hashtag Nancy really wants to PR for vinyl someday. But anyway, Wendy Jean and a few other people that I watched um, with their wine subscription, they got some of their newer wines, like vinyl wines are all from California. But they had some from this, maybe it's a sister company or something, Splash, which uh, was wines from all over. And I saw them get some. And then right after that, I started getting like bombarded with emails from both Splash and Vino to try them out, check them out. Uh, going through Vino, you could do a one-time buy through them for $59 for six bottles of wine. Uh, no commitment, no anything. You could do that. And, or of course, Splash was saying, well, you know, take this, but, you know, you could do this as a wine subscription. So anyway, I decided to try it out. So you could... Um, basics on Splash. It's um, wines that they have curated boxes. You can just go on to their shop and buy um, boxes of wine, cases of wine. They've got like a captain's list that is like ooh, maybe over $100 a bottle or something like that. That's way over my head because I'm an am amateur. I don't know if I would even know the difference between a $100 bottle dollar $100 bottle of wine or a $5 bottle. You know, yeah, so to me that was not worth it. But anyway, so um, they have that, and you can also get subscriptions. So they had uh, two different subscriptions with some uh, things on it. So you could get six bottles of wine for $59 uh, free shipping, and your first box would be $20 off. Or you could get a case of 15 for $89, again, free shipping, and that code for new subscribers would be $20 off. You could get it every month, you can do it every other month, or you can do it quarterly, and then they had things from there. So anyway, I decided to go with the six bottles. 
I went with the quarterly and then of course you could get red white or mixed I went with the red from there you could upgrade so the standard is uh, discover delicious wines from famous wine producing countries across the planet delivered to your door these wines have broad appeal from everyone from novice to expert which is probably what I would do anyway but you know I decided to upgrade so I did the vineyard one which was ten dollars more so my subscription is going to be sixty nine dollars every quarter for six bottles of wine um, and these wines are specially selected from some of the world's best vineyards they are wonderfully complex wines yet at the same time they are well-rounded accom accompaniments yeah I said that wrong for any occasion or you could do the cellar wines, which was uh, $39 for the case of six or $70 for a case of 15. And this is an all red selection that has been developed for the serious wine customers only. These wines are ready to drink now, but can also be cellared for years as they continue to mature and evolve. Maybe at some point I would want something like that, but right now I think I'm kind of like in the middle. Alrighty. So anyway, so that's what I did. $69 for my subscription. I did get $20 off and I'm getting the all reds and I've got the vineyard. So anyway, I expected it to come like in a couple of months, but no, it came like they shipped it like two days after I signed up. But you, you know what? You're going to jump in, jump in. So I figure if I like these wines and I can go quarterly, I can just do every other month automatically if I wanted to change it. Maybe I would cancel my wing subscription, um, which is going to have to be this month, so I'm going to have to decide before they ship my wine again. But anyway, so I've got some red wines here. I've got this one. It's a Cabernet Sauvignon. It's from Vigna, and I didn't have a write-up on that. Um, every wine that they sent me was on their website, so I kind of made some cheat sheets for myself. This one wasn't there, so I'm going to leave that there, and maybe I will get some more information um, when it comes back in stock. So this first one that I got is a Malbec from Buenos Aires, or maybe that's the name of it, wine of Argentina, so a nice Malbec here, 2023. So this has a 13% uh, alcohol level. It says it's got notes of plums and cherries. It's balanced with a hint of vanilla and pairs well with your grilled beef. This next one that I got, I don't know how to say it, but it's Castello Terrena and see if I can get my cheat sheets on this so this is a red wine and it's 2022 and this is from Portugal and so it's, it says it blend of Aragonas, Trincerida and Castello yeah different wine varietals that I've never heard of it says it's got notes of dark red fruit and a hint of spice. It's 12.5% alcohol, and it says it pairs well with a hearty fall or winter stew. So I think it's like the right season for that, right? I did get another Malbec here, and this is from the land of Malbec. And it's 2021, and this is from Argentina. It's got a 13.5% alcohol. It says it's got a deep red color with violet hues. Notes of plum, cherry, and blackberry on the palate, balanced with soft vanilla hints of the oak aging. Pairs brilliantly with Argentinian style steak with a chimichurri, something like that. Alrighty, so that sounds good. Next. We have a Mara Viva Red. It's got a pretty label right here. And this is a red wine. And again, this is from Portugal. And it says Mara Viva means living water. And this is 12.5%. It's a red blend. It says ripe and juicy red blend. Flavors of plum and strawberry. It's a versatile wine. Pair with your dinner tonight. Well, that sounds good. But this last one is the one that I'm probably going to have since it's got a Christmas label on it. You know, and actually, it's from Hallmark, the Hallmark Channel. 
and at one point I almost got a wine subscription to the Hallmark wine, but you had to get three of the same ones. So if you wanted just three wines, you got three of the same ones. If you wanted six, you got six of the same ones. And I thought, well, what if I don't like it? Then I'm stuck with all this extra wine. So, but I didn't consider them for a while because you got a free Hallmark movie, I think, and you got a free Hallmark ornament of the year. So they were like benefits like that, but they just didn't want to get six of one or three of the same thing. So anyway, this is a Cabernet Sauvignon. It's called the Jingle, again from the Hallmark Channel. It's 14.4%. It says it's got aromas of dark chocolate, cherry with a hint of holiday spice. It says profound dark fruit notes create a luxurious experience. Pair with a hearty beef stew or a succulent roast. It says it was aged in 5% oak, 5% new French oak barrel. 15% and a one-year-old French, and then 80% neutral. So that must be a new coat, new barrel. Alrighty, so anyway, I thought since Christmas is over, I might as well open this one, right? And what do I have for dinner? You know, I forgot to bring the box in, but it's a quick dinner, frozen dinner. It's called Devour, and I've had them before. But you know what? Let me go get the box. I'll be right back. Alrighty. So anyway, while I went, I went to get my aerator. I took the cork out, so let's pour the wine, and then I will show you what I have for my dinner. Alrighty. So, I've got this aerator in, which helps the wine breathe a little bit more. Get some oxygen in there. Kind of stir it around in the glass right here kind of let the fragrances and everything just kind of unleash it's been in that bottle so we just kind of want to get some oxygen in there and air it let everything kind of come to the top and just let everything release oh my gosh it smells really good oh yeah and it is coating my glass so that 14.4 percent is a strong going to be a stronger wine Alrighty, so devour. And I bought these before. These are these are really good. I, I like them anyway. So I got this one that's, uh, of course, it's devour. And it's smokehouse meat and potatoes. So it's got chicken, sausage, and bacon. And so it's um, tender white meat chicken in a sweet and smoky Memphis-style barbecue sauce. Loaded with applewood, smoked bacon, and smoked sausage. It's over roasted potatoes, corn, and red peppers. It is 430 calories. Not always the best choice. Sodium is wicked, wicked high. But every now and then on a Friday night when you've been working and you just don't want to cook, whatever, these just kind of come in handy. I had some potatoes earlier during the week, so I had some leftover mashed potatoes. So I've got some mashed potatoes on the bottom, even though there's potatoes in there. And so anyway, that is what it looks like. And I know that this is delicious. But anyway, let's have a sip of my wine. Let's see what is what I sense here. So I already know that it's what's in here. I just wonder what that holiday spice is. Cheers, everyone. I can definitely smell the cherry and the chocolate. Alrighty, cheers. Happy Friday. I hope everyone has a fabulous, fabulous weekend. Take care, everyone. It is a nice dry wine. You can really uh, feel the tannins in here in the upper palate. And then right under here, too. Um, it's flavorful. The flavor just seems to linger. I can taste the chocolate. I can taste the cherry. Something kind of, um, it's got to be the spice, something kind of tangy, but I can't quite pinpoint what it is. It might be clove or nutmeg, something like that. But it is a nice wine. I'm going to say medium body. All right. I'll have a bite of my dinner. Thank you guys so much for stopping in, sharing some dinner with me. I right. this is this is really good. It's got a lot of flavor. So if you're stuck on some kind of 
dinner, something for quick dinners, quick lunches or something, devour. It's really good. Mm. Barbecue sauce. It's really tangy. It's not very hot. It's got a nice smokiness to it. Of course, you got corn, you got potatoes, you got bacon, you got a little bit of chicken here. Mmm. Very, very good. I'm going to sip of wine to kind of wash that down. Mmm. Very, very good. So, anyway, that was my wine diary. This is my first wine diary of 2024. I'm excited to be having this new wine. I'm going to have to try to go on to uh, the website for Wink and try to skip again. I'm going to try to skip again. Yeah, give this one a shot first. Then I'll try to decide which way I want to go. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending part of your Friday night with me. I hope everyone goes out and has a fabulous, fabulous weekend. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much, and I can't wait to see you in our next video. Bye-bye.